Hello guys, welcome back to the Yetana Knowledge channel. Today we are going to see about the most and fascinating concept of the armor control statement is the looping statement which is used to iterate more than one time of the code and it is reduce the repetition of code and moreover it is useful in many ways. Let's see what is for loop. In this video we are going to see about only for loop not while loop and the do while loop okay. Let's enter the video. So C++ for loop. The C++ for loop is used to iterate a part of the program several times. Note the point guys. If the number of iteration is fixed we can first try to use for loop then while or do while loops. In C++ there are three types of loops. It is for loop, while loop and do while loop. The for loop and while loop is an entry control loop guys which means after the condition is checked it will enter into the body but in do while loop so we can see the do while loop in do while loop video okay so now concentration on for loop okay so the c++ for loop is same as c and cs it's not the same but they have at most similar syntaxes like variable initialization and condition checking and increment decrement value guys this is a syntax for for loop for loop for keyword and initialization like variable declaration and condition like check the condition in if we are using like condition so in increment decrement operator we are increment decrement place we are using as a plus plus b plus plus like variable plus plus or minus minus this is the part of the loop or body of the loop okay so let's see some example okay guys so we can understand clearly so let's enter into the compiler so i already created that so let's type the header file next paste. We are going to create the main function to write the code like guys we are going to first create a for loop which is used to print uh, first 10 numbers like 1 to 10 okay let's do that guys come on watching the video first creating first uh, type the keyword like for and using this inside this uh, like parenthesis we are going to write first initialize the variable as integer and like variable as a is equal to 0 ok so after this you need to place a semicolon and after that we are giving a condition like a should like up to this like is equal to 10 okay. we are going to print the number from to 10 so 0 is not necessary like from start 1 to 10 and colon and again we are going to use the increment because a plus plus let's see dpl wait okay now we are going to print the output like c out uh, let's do the a So that's all guys this is the simplest way of iterating okay like if we in this program we are let me explain this first we are declaring the variable after the condition and a in this program the a is one so the value of a is one and we go enter into this like one lesser than or equal to 10 it will check the condition if the yeah one is lesser than or equal to 10 so it will get into the program and it will increase like 2 okay next time it will enter into 2 it will display first it displays a is equal to 1 okay it displays 1 after that like this like 
you can understand one so after this it will again go into the condition so now the condition is two because we use the increment operator so now a becomes two and it again checks like uh, 10 so 2 is lesser than or equal to 10 so um, again it enter into the display as 2 so after this again it going to and blah 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 so continuously after that when 10 reaches or when 11 reaches 11 lesser than or equal to 10 it will check the condition okay after displaying 10 it will check the conditions 11 lesser than or equal to 10. no it's a fault okay it's an error so the condition is failed so if the condition is failed, it will get out of the for loop and get into the return. Like get out of that program. Okay. So let's compile and check if it's an error or not. For loop. Guys, I think uh, there is no yeah, there is no error. So we can run and see what the result is. Like I already told that it's displaying 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We successfully run the program. Okay. Now we learned for loop, guys. Next topic is okay. I think you can understand this. So I will give problem at end of this video. Okay. You can test yourself how you can able to understand this. Okay. Do that problem and type in the comment. So everyone, our subscribers also. Others also can see your problems or the skill, okay? So let's see what is nested loop. So C++ nested for loop, okay? It's again also like if else nested if. Like in C++, there is also nested for loop. In C++, we can use for loop inside another loop. That is called nested for loop, guys, okay? So the inner loop is executed fully. The inner loop is executed fully when outer loop is executed only one time, guys. So if outer loop and inner loop are executed four times, inner loop will be executed four times for each outer loop. Okay, total 16 loop. I think you get little confused because of this example. So when I saw first time, I also a little bit confused. So when we see in program, we can easily understand guys. So let's enter into the program and we can learn together and win. Okay. Let's guys enter this program. So come on guys, let's create new and again we to into the header file. Guys, comment how I speech and conversation with you. Like a feedback. Uh, what are the things I want to improve in my communication skill and my pronunciation? Because I am new to this language, so kind of help me guys. Okay, now we are going to see what is nested for loop. Right here. Let's pause and try the condition last is one point a is equal to 10. Come on, sorry, one. And we are going to get the condition lesser than or equal to guys. We take less number okay, so we can easily understand. Like I take I take what the example says, like four. So we now the important to see here guys come on we are going to create the for loop inside this for loop okay come on we are creating this like b we are taking second variable as b and in this variable we are going to give us one okay the same like we can generate different numbers like from zero okay from zero to so we you can Identify the difference between two iteration. Okay, b lesser than or equal to three and b plus. Okay. Now we are going to display. 
Make knock, make me. Guys, this is just a symbol. Okay, I try to like highlighting. I use inside the double quotation so it considers a sting. So don't take it as seriously. Okay, now I think it's ready. Okay, guys. So like before i said in this condition it will run up to four numbers when this also run up to four numbers from zero to three this is from one to four like wait guys i will explain you first run and after i will explain you okay for loop So there is no error, so we can compile that. Guys, let's get to your focus in this part, okay? So you can easily understand. I think because of this highlighter, you get confused. <laughs> Wait, guys, I'm going to remove this highlighter. So it get you a little bit confusing. This is used to give space, which is contains four, I think four character space. So let's again compile and run. Okay, now it's okay guys. Come on. Let's see with let's understand with the example. Come on. Oh, it took more time to give output. What the hell? Come on, fast. Sorry for that guys, it will take too many time. So when the first iteration will start in first for loop, like it considers a uh, First and it's continuous. So come, okay. So come on, guys. Okay, now it's closed, it's closed that because it took too much. Okay, now it's ready. So when the first for loop is executed, like one, okay. The second your for loop, like zero. 2, 3 will, it will execute up to 4 times, okay, until like 0 to 3, for every first for loop, one iteration, it will completely, okay, second for loop will complete, completely execute, okay, from 0 to 3, for like, if 1, a is equal to 1 will display, the inside of nested for loop will iterate from 0, 1, 2, 3, until 3, okay. Again, it will enter into the first for loop. Uh, now this value is taken as like two. When a is equal to two, when a become two, uh, the next for loop. Okay, the next nested for loop again run from zero to three. Okay. Now I think you can understand maybe because of my explanation skill you can't little bit understand so see this guys for one iteration like this is called one right this is again okay, this side in right right left hand side the four ones are having which means the nested for loop is running up to zero to three okay? again when when second iteration then it's for run up to zero one two three and third and fourth so it will totally take 16 iterations. So that is the calculation of that example, guys. So if now we read this, you can understand. Like see this, guys. Um, the inner, like see, read this only. The inner loop is executed again. See that the nested loop, second loop, executed fully, completely executed again. When outer loop is executed at one time. When the first for loop is executed one time, the inner loop completely executed, guys. Not the point. This is the main point of this, guys. This is chapter. So, if outer loop and inner loop are executed, see this. 
both loops i say four times the inner loop will be executed four times am i right yeah four times for each outer loop for every one outer loop iteration the inner loop is executed four times okay so totally 16 times i think now you can understand this example so i uh, the only one is missing not not that missing we are going to see the infinite for loop guys everything has an infinite so we are going to see in programming also there is infinite like star loop infinite now we completed nested loop note that point guys keep in your mind for nested loop to run infinite loop we are just using semicolon not giving any not initialize not giving condition not using any increment decrement operators just giving semicolon and leave it empty okay after this we are going to print us like the vector knowledge Guys, when you give like this, it will run up to infinity times, okay? Let's compile and run this. You are definitely got jealous of this. Yes, see this guys, they are now going to run infinite times. Don't miss it. See, see, see this guys. It will continuously running. Even if I try to scroll this up and down to cancel this, just click simple plus C. So it will get out of um, the run program. So that's all for today's video guys. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notified. So next topic we are going to see about while loop and another topic and for I think do while loop. Okay. So I think soon we are going to complete the control statements in C++. I think 5 or 6 videos is enough to complete that. So stay tuned. Until my completion. Bye-bye.